previously. When the lead spider sees what you are doing, it stops and bows to you. That is an awfully polite spider. And now... Eh, fuck it. <clears throat> the courteous spider spreads its forelegs haplessly. So sorry to be a bother. We're getting... We're a little lost. Can you help us get back to... Whale mist? Tell him to get lost or help him. Fuck it, I'll help him. Part of me just thinks I should have killed them. You tell the lead spider to go out the, that way, turn left, and then just stay on the street until there is a street anymore. The spider thanks all thank you as they depart. Alright. I need to improve my cleverness. Mmm. Stones. If I've learned anything throughout games, stones will improve cleverness. Alright. Some monsterlings are building a small stone tower. Blots. This is Blots? Blots comes to you with a heaping armload of smooth rocks. Do you think this is enough to build the tower? Give me the honest answer. Help him build a tower. Leave me alone, Blots. I'm busy. Frank Blot. Nicely. Oh, I mean Frank Humphreys. I'm giving him an honest answer. You can't let me consider the problem in your head before telling him he has just enough. Blots beam, beams happily and waddles off to try and build a tower. It's not a pretty tower, but it's just the right side. Yeah, I had to live a little bit. We haven't figured that out yet. Man, why can't I get another thing with someone having been stabbed? There's an anaconda. What's that noise coming from the swamp? Rush over. A big snake is eating helpless morsels. They're moaning and crying, but it doesn't stop. Bring it on, snake. It's not my problem, they're just morsels. Who doesn't eat some morsels? Fuck it, we fight the snake. Brave. Attack. Fear, not here. That's the snake away from that. I like that idea. You get your claws around the snake's body, just behind its head. It coils around you, but you roll away from the bat and out of the cave. The snake crawls away as you laugh and shout. Okay! Why am I shouting okay at the snake? I have four days left. I'm halfway towards becoming an adolescent. Firm up the personality as much as I can. Why does this game want me to firm things up? Gunnosh and Glob Claws are racing to the ceiling of the cave. They're trying to climb way up when Glob Claw invites you to join them. You don't see a good way up though. You get both pat look at the pass they took and copied it. Just face up to admit you're not much of a climber. Make fair enough and stop before. Fuck that, I'm gonna copy these fuckers. Claw Vashnas claw marks halfway up the wall. Slip sideways where Bob Clock was being more careful. You seem to, or you meet them at the top at their surprise. No, I met them. Shield. This guy looks surprised. Let's see what he's surprised about. You're chatting with Glob Claw and Blistery. When the foul stench wafts into the monsterlings, all over the cave are shivering and holding their noses. Yuck, what is this? Watts, Globclaw says, someone's gotta tell him. He stinks. Kinda figured, he seems like a long child. But, not the way monsterlings should. Watts sees 
the group and makes his way over Glovclaw and Blister and retreats. Hellblock's about it. Yup. He's a tower of stink in a wood. Fuck it, I'm being honest. You spread your claws in a friendly way and Blot sits next to you. Blot's pouts. Why do they run away? Tell him a small lie. He's fragile. Never make up a clever story to help him. And make up a clever story. Yeah, clever. You begin to tell your story of the cleanest monster, the shining paragon of hygiene and delightful scents. You can almost hear the sound of baby. My monster has some issues. Losses erupted by the story. Keep going. <coughs> you end with, but I only make up the cleanest monster who is not you. You stink, Blots. You need to go wash up and do it. Problem solved. Well done on being an asshole at the end of that. He's grumpy. Cameron, the adult monster, sleeps in a pile of monster leads. Everyone is comfortable. Flops, giggles, sticks lynching in the all four of Hamrock's nostrils. Hamrock's eyes shook open as he started to choke. Blot shudders. You with a threatening scoff. I'm not afraid of Blot's. Help Hamburg. That's funny. Help Blot's out. Yeah, fuck, I'm not afraid of him. You jump on Hamburg's head and hug. <laughs> Some of the lynchings lose. He squeals and gulps, then remembers that he can breathe through his mouth. Crisis of birth. Hamrock lowers down past his jaw, scolding as though you hadn't saved him. He roars and demands to know who plugged him up. But Block's a little pussy. Yeah, I'll probably block the best. Hamrock seems to smell your lie. The monster traps you under a heavy rock and sits on it for a while as punishment. Blotz approaches you afterwards and offers a quiet thank you for protecting him. Why did my guy say okay at the end of everything? Alright. Based on this, it's my last one. Hand. This button off mine, she plugs from the floor. Trembling as her claws and bounce a dark crevice in the wall. Get it? And let's fish out the bathroom with something sticky. Yeah, even more fun. Put a glob of, of slime onto one of your claws and reach as far in as you can. Success. You devour delicacy for yourself. Well, nope. I ate it. Oh my, you wake up and find you are no longer a little monster and you've grown up. Wow. Interesting. Elder Menorus calls the oldest monsterlings to gather in the group. You're one of the oldest ones now. You should go and join them. She looks grave. Alright, let's go with her. Alright, let's go. Menorus shuffles down a long tunnel, turning the way, turns, turning this way, and then almost dozes amongst dozens of forks of passages. You know, keep going. Am I that thing? No, no, no. Cancel out. I want to see if... Oh, damn it. Mara stops in a warm, humid chamber with a pit in the floor. She points at the pit, which seeds with a thick mist. 
Wait for her to make me go in. It seem like a pussy. Or just jump in. We jump. We jump. You fall and fall some more. And fall and you're falling. And none of the monsters are falling. Yes, some of them are crying. And you can't see through the mist. What is it fall? Maybe clouds. Are they that high up? Interesting. No. The one person was stabbed by a knife. Well, we don't know if they have wings. Moans and groans and whispering screams. Whispering screams? Alright. Where am I? I must be somewhere. You land in a smooth, flat stone despite the swirling vapors. The floor is dry as a bone. You hear... Other monsters breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you, still falling. Get out of the way, cushion, out of the way, cushion, eh, fuck it, we'll cushion. Kindness. Oof. You don't see who you helped, or who you helped. However, the roll away in a thick ball of hot work. Gratitude is not important. Look at that face. Look at it. He knows gratitude is not important. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages. <sighs> out of them. Out of here. And then you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. Should I take charge? Let somebody else say, Fuck it, I'm taking charge. The other monsterlings watch you curiously. Lead it personally. You strike out with courage and conviction. The other monsterlings follow you. You know, they better from your soon. <clears throat> Choosing turns and forks at random. You soon walk into the cave full of thick mist. Such thick mist. The chamber swirls. With mist, smoke, fog, vapor, except it's not any of those things. It's ghosts. Really? Fucking ghosts? Make me ghosts. Oh well, this game ain't making me fight them. Hundreds of them. Large and small. They're everywhere. Spooky! One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. Your eyes glow di their eyes glow in different colors. Stand fast. The ghosts speak in voices all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask you, do you fear? Now, I'm not going to admit to it. If they're ghosts, what will that do? I'll say no. Wait, wait, that option's really right for ghost. I like it. The ghosts stare into the into and through you as though you're one of the one made of mist. One sharp voice speaks from behind you. Why are you here? I'm butchering ghosts. Fuck this. More carpets. Hell yeah. You take a deep breath and begin to explain how monsterlings make a change that into adolescent monsters. Stress it like heat. Cook over the minds and boil so that they can enter into a new state of being. Continue to explain things to the ghosts. <clears throat> you go on. First you groan. Bodies must be destabilized so we can take on our uh, more diverse forms and then we must yawn. We must yawn. Yes. I'm sorry. I forgot what I was saying. There's no other option to fall asleep. Fuck it, we fall asleep. Ooh, hey, look. My monster in hood. Um, I think I'm average. You wake up inside a well-appointed hovel. This is your home now. What should I be doing now? Start living the adolescent monster. Let's do it. The oh, fuck, that's me? I'm like a crab with 
an eye and 20 legs. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Well, let's enter the big bad world. Hmm. Well, I guess I only get the one event. Well, for now, this is all I'm gonna do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our Monsterling Hood through Monsters Love You. I am Wayne, and thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe.